Hey everybody! Hi! Happy Sunday! Welcome to our last Sunday School video of summer 2021. I was just telling Erica before we started this video, wow, I'm gonna miss hanging out with our crew online Sunday School. We love you guys and we'll miss you dearly. So, for our introduction today, we're gonna talk about earthquakes. Erica, how do you feel about earthquakes? Honestly, I think they're kind of scary. Yeah, they're like kind of terrifying. It's scary when the earth, that is usually a very stable thing, shakes beneath us. That's kind of terrifying. But in our lesson for today, it's going to mean something pretty awesome. So before we start, let's fold our hands and bow our heads and we'll start with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for the time that we've spent together in online Sunday school. Bless our lesson this morning that your word may reach the hearts of many. Amen. Amen. So our story today starts with Jesus getting crucified, which is really sad, but we know that he's not going to stay dead. So when he was crucified, the ground shook and rocks split and a curtain in the temple tore in half from top to bottom. And this isn't any old curtain. This is a big, thick curtain that separated the holy place and the most holy place. And that represented our relationship with God. Now that Jesus died for us, we can go straight to God mm -hmm. through him instead of being separated, right? So the curtain tore and Jesus let out his last breath and all the soldiers that were around him saw like the earthquake and the rock splitting and people coming back from the dead. And they said, surely this man was God. And then he was buried by his disciples, right? And they put him in a tomb and Pilate said, he, Jesus, said that he was going to rise from the dead, and we better make sure that doesn't happen. So they're going to seal up the tomb and put a guard in front of it. Or two guards? They put guards in front of it. <laughs> and the disciples were so scared that the guards were going to come kill them, too. So they were hiding off in this room. And the women went to go finish wrapping up Jesus, wrapping up the seasoning and stuff. And they go, and the tomb was rolled away already. An earthquake had moved it, but it wasn't really an earthquake. It was an angel coming down from heaven that moved the rock out of the way. And the guards were on the ground. And the women said to the angel, where is our Lord? And the angel said, don't worry, he's not here. He rose like he said he would. And on their way to go tell the disciples this, Jesus appeared to them. He said that he's coming to see the disciples soon. And that's our story for today. Awesome. So, that's we have a few questions. Erica, hit me up. Give me the questions. All right. What happened when Jesus died on the cross? There was a huge earthquake. Huge. Huge. And what happened to the curtain? It tore in two. Just again, like Erica said, this showed that Jesus' death, because he had lived a perfect life in our place, we now have access to God. We're no longer separated from him. Yeah. What did the soldiers say when they saw this? They said, this guy, Jesus, who we thought was just a guy, was definitely the Son of God. Mm -hmm. What did the guards do to the tomb to make sure it wouldn't open? They put guards by it and they sealed it because they had heard that Jesus said he was going to rise from the dead. Mm -hmm. So they said, mm, maybe Jesus' disciples are going to come and seal his body and pretend like he rose from the dead. So they sealed it and had guards by it so no one could get in. Who appeared after the next earthquake? So someone came down from heaven. An angel. <laughs> um, and then who came to the tomb? Some women came to the tomb to finish up the work of preparing Jesus' body for burial. And on their way back, who appeared to the women? And, oh, well the angel said that the women, yes. So the angel told the women that, hey, Jesus isn't here. And when the women were leaving, Jesus and came to the women and said, Hey, go tell my disciples that I'm going to come to them. Awesome. And, yeah, what did he tell them? He told them that he's coming. Perfect. Awesome. Nice. So our Bible words are a little bit different for today. They're not word-for-word -word Bible words, but it's more of a key point and something that we want you to remember for this entire summer. So they are, Jesus was declared to be the Son of God by his resurrection from the dead. So in our lesson for today, we heard about how Jesus rose from the dead and how that curtain torn in two and that Jesus defeated death itself. He lived a perfect life and died a perfect death in our place. 
so that we can be in heaven with him forever someday. So if you remember anything from this entire summer, I know school was out, did maybe a lot of playing, maybe you don't remember what you learned in school last year, but if you're going to remember anything, anything at all, especially from this, these lessons that we've had this Sunday school summer year, why don't you remember that fact, that Jesus is God and he has risen from the dead for you. And now we get to be in heaven with him forever someday. We all will be. Yay. All of you out there and us will be there all together. And that'll be such a great day. So, Erica, will you show us our craft? I week? will. So today you're going to need a paper plate or a styrofoam plate and a piece of paper and a little guy named Brad. And <laughs> then you can make a tomb. A tomb. And if you move the rock, the stone, it's empty. Oh, yes. Nothing's inside it because Jesus rose from the dead. Yes. And I tried to color it, but because it's styrofoam, it didn't really stay. So it's kind of gray like a rock. Love it. Anyway. If you have a paper so plate, do... it'd probably be a little bit easier to color. Yeah. Tomb. So yeah, empty tomb. Love it. All right. Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for sending your son to live a perfect life and to die in our place. Be with us all as we go into this next school year. Help us to never forget your love and grace. Amen. Amen. All right, everyone. We're going back to school. So we'll see you at Christmas time, maybe? Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. We'll see you around. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Take care.